uh, protein. It's going to be a balance between po proteins and the good fats and carbohydrates and fiber. It's going to be a really good dish. Um, starting, I get um, real fresh garlic. You want some real garlic? You want to chop that up and um, actually smash it up. You're going to get the best flavors out of it. Onions. I already got my tomatoes ready. Quinoa, and uh, it's going to be a um, turkey sausage. I'm cooking in water, so it's a lot healthier than frying it. Um, I will end up frying at the end to get everything mixed up for the side dish that the chicken will go on top of. And it's going to be a really good dish. I will show you uh, parts of what I'm cooking throughout it. So I have two different peppers, and I've got the sauce. It's a uh, um, sesame and um, ginger. It's got real ginger. Ginger is excellent for you. Teriyaki. Got a little bit of agave honey, which is good for you, for the sweetness. You know, instead of using sugar, you can use agave honey or stevia. Uh, it's got, it's going to have some fresh garlic in it. Uh, what I'm going to do with the garlic and the onion is I'm going to chop them up and fry them. That's going to get your flavor out. It's going to open up those flavors. You put it in the chicken dish, and you're going to marinate that for an hour. And with the chicken, I'll show you when I get that going. I'm going to fry on each side. What that does is holds in the flavor and then um, put it in the oven for the rest of the time. It's going to be nice and juicy. So when you sear it on both sides, that's what's going to hold in the flavor. If you've seen some of my um, past dishes, that's what I've showed you. That's what I'll continue to show you. <laughs> um, so there's going to be a mixture of quinoa, peppers, some um, turkey sausage, along with fresh garlic, onions, tomatoes, along with some herbs. Um, got thyme, real thyme, and um, real thyme, <laughs> and some basil. And I'll be putting a little bit of uh, cracked pepper in there and sea salt. Sea salt is much better and healthier for you. And I put very little because I use a lot of garlic because garlic's so, so good for you. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, you see I'm searing the chicken, put some salt and pepper on it, the fresh garlic, the onions, I sauteed them so it opens it up, flavored, some thyme, some basil on top. I've got all four different kind of uh, bell peppers, I got tomatoes, I got garlic, onion, and quinoa, that's in a turkey sausage, it's all going to be a nice little dish on the side that the chicken will lay on top of, and I will have the egg. For the Benedict, that's going to add some more protein and flavor. And After you sear the chicken, you put it in the oven at 300 for about for 8 to 10 minutes on each side. Not too long and not too high. You want to slow roast it. The quenyo, you got all the peppers, you get the turkey sausage, all that's going to make it a nice little dish. And what we're going to do is when we saute all this together, we're going to saute in the garlic and onion, some of the fresh herbs. We're going to saute in the same sauce that we used for the chicken. So it's got the leftover sauce, so it's going to give a nice good flavor. It's going to, you know, it's going to um, complement each other. As you see, I mixed all the peppers, the tomatoes, the garlic, onions, the uh, turkey sausage, the quinoa, uh, a pinch of uh, thyme, a pinch of um, basil, and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Hello again. As you cut through the chicken, you take the thickest piece of chicken and cut right down the middle of the thick part. And like I've mentioned before, look at that juice just flow out of there. Still really juicy that's how you're going to get the best juicy chicken by searing it on both sides and then cooking it in the oven in its juice you see all that just okay, I'm going to show you this dish got the egg benedict on the top the chicken got the dish put a little bit of the sauce is with the chicken so it's all going to have that flavor and if you watch Hell's Kitchen or Master Chef you're going to know in order to have a great uh, Eggs Benedict, it's going to ooze out like that when you